So what I'm gonna do is start filling this area and keep going down and keep going down. Maybe at some point I'll add some more water. But the idea is to add paint, change the ratios of colors all the time. And if something is darker, then I add more of the Van Dyke Brown, let's say, or Cobalt Blue. And then I keep going down. If I stop with that paint here, the paint will basically explode this way. And uh, it's not gonna be like a nice line. So you just have to continue going straight, choop, and then you stop, right? It doesn't really have to be straight. It really doesn't. But when I'm creating a class, I want this to be good. And I want to make sure you guys understand like why I have a line here and there. I'd say. So that's kind of what we want, like a gray yellow. Better to have shadows that are a little more transparent than too dark. Okay, so more paint. And of course the ratio of my colors changed because I just mixed new paint. I want to show you what you can do is with them. Uh, this is a mini mop brush, one eight size. You can do dry brushing with something like that. This is like a softer brush, but when you go like over the area, let's say you grab a little bit of paint. You want this to be dry brushing, so you just don't, don't want much water in there. But you can kind of rub onto parts to make it feel like it's more like a the metal, right? You do want to dry brush, otherwise you can actually lift colors, depending on the paper too. This is the mop brush. Same thing, same colors, I guess. Colors I've used mostly for the wall which is like a gray, but it seems dark. So this is wet on dry. Mm -hmm. 